When we were putting together our spring lecture series, I knew I wanted to invite Camila to come to Rice. I identify as a learner, and within that capacity, I make a lot of work that deals with the process of writing uh, and the process of reading. And I'm really interested in thinking about other ways to consider the writing process. Um, and so I often think about my practices writing across a range of substrate. Um, as much as I am a writer, I'm a writer who is opposed and very frustrated with the word processor as the sort of uh, interface for writing or even a notebook and so I basically just started taking to writing on walls. So I got a projector, projected uh, text on the wall and was able to write an essay spatially. So the idea of writing across space, this interest in writing a spatial essay versus a linear essay. So I started lucid dreaming when I was nine and I did not understand what was happening. I was, ter I was terrified. I was like, why am I flying and talking to people and doing stuff in my dreams? I didn't say anything for a very long time. Uh, so when I say I can write in my dreams, I literally mean I have written things in my dreams or heard things in my dreams and then come out of my dreams and then I dictate them. And so this is really a process of me trying to wake up quickly enough to get them down. Uh, and a lot of times the things that come out of my dreams, I don't immediately know what to do with them. So I had one dream where the, the message was just, uh, Slavery is not a time-based medium. I don't know what that means, but it was sitting there and I've written it down over and over and over. And so one of the things that is important to me in my practice too is sort of talking about this relationship between receiving information and acting on it. There's a sense of this immediacy of like, I got this information, make it work. But there are things that I have like set with for like a decade that I don't make work around because I'm waiting for an opportunity to sort of put that into the world. So No New Theories was originally published in 2018 by Printed Matter. Uh, it was my first uh, published book um, as an adult, and I was super excited about it. Um, however, there were some errors inside, and so we took um, like a six-month hiatus to sort of figure out the next plan, and we re re republished the book in 2019. Um, and in that republication, No New Theories became this text that was about revision as part of the writing process, but also about the idea of incompleteness. So there are no page numbers in the book intentionally because I actually want people to get lost. So instead of being like, go to page three, it now becomes go to the page that has the picture of Steve Urkel on it, which introduces another sort of moment of interaction because it requires you to flip through again and probably uh, like stumble into something else.